does possess reasonably good gate speed. But I expect Belladonna Gell to give it a hard time for the lead. I think she's got the speed to get across the inside two runners, Steam Clean and the Collector. And it's whether she could hold out Strato Fortress, but I think we'll see a bit of a battle for the lead here. Mobile entering the back straight, set to go. 2022 Tab Mount Gambia Pacing Cup set. Away in racing, Belladonna Gell began the fastest and she's got to get across the inside two runners without too many problems. Here comes Strato Fortress to move outside the leader. Might have a little dip for the lead, but David Smith really likes to give up the lead and he's got her out in front, Belladonna Gell. Strato Fortress has to face the breeze and the collector dropped on the inside. Got there in front of Steen Cleed, who's three back the inside. You are good boy, is one out, one back. Is, or bad boy, I should say. He's one out, one back as they come into the front straight. Then in turn behind those off the track, Zadaka Estrange goes back to the tail end of the field as they come into the front straight. And uh, they've still got two laps to go. Now, behind Steam Clean on the inside, four back the inside was uh, Jake Sport Rider. Just ahead of it on the outside was Secret Jack. Back in second last placing was Assassinator. At the tail end of the field was Zadaka. Lead time covered in 41.1. And Belladonna go out in front for late male followers. She leads away by a full sulky's length. In second place, on the leaders back is the collector. On the outside is the favourite facing the breeze. That's Strato Fortress. One out, one back as they get out. The back straight was You Are Bad Boy. And on the inside was Steam Clean, who's three back. Following those through, four back the inside as they make their way around the bend is Jake Sport Rider. It's underneath it. Stable mate, Secret Jack, Assassinator, second last, and Zadaka at the tail end of the field's got a lot of work to do from there. Second quarter covered in 30.3. He's able to rate the leader as he likes Smith, and it's a steady tempo, though. And coming into the front straight, it's Bella Donagel. She's about to get the siren. In second place, he's on the outside. Strato Fortress now asked to go a little closer as they come to the judge with a circuit to go. On the inside, the collector travels okay. Getting off from the inside, now to grab the one. One was Steen Clean getting into a position. Uh, Assassinator tried to go very wide there. Got around a tiring secret jack. Zadaka's held up back in the field. In the meantime, Belladonna Gell's got 600 to go. Got away from the favourite. He's in trouble. And Strato Fortress is in pain. In front, Belladonna Gell. The collector's running a much better race here tonight in second placing. Strato Fortress under pressure trying to lift. Then better steam ahead. Behind those making some ground off the track is Zadaka. But about 20 metres from its stable mate. 28-7 for that second quarter. That gave him a 59 and she went 28-7 the third quarter. Bella Donagel in front. She's going strong. In second placing the collector. Under pressure was Strato Fortress. Better steam ahead. getting to its outside but in front Bella Donagel. She's clear. She's out in front. She's going strong. Good game for the minor prize uh, but it's Bella Donagel going to be too good. Now the assassinator on the inside there with the collector but Bella Donagel wins. Second the assassinator Third eye, the, the collector or better steam ahead and Strato Fortress in the centre. Not far away, Zadaka out very wide. A gap to the other two, which are you are bad boy. Alongside of it was Jake Sport Rider and Secret Jack was around 30 metres behind those.